and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the definitive yo-yo today we're looking at a fantastic plastic but i think it's most appropriate that we start off with a montage Today we're looking at the Plastic Peak by CLYW and Lustwerk. This is the full yo-yo review, so we're going to get a little specific. Originally, the Plastic Peak was available in three colors, including that Butter Caramel, White White, and then this Teal or uh, Ocean View. But recently we got this Gray, and I opted for this Dirty Kool-Aid right here. <laughs> the first thing you'll notice is that this is a thick yo-yo it stands a little weightier than some other plastic yo-yos like the triple zero based off the original peak which first released in the fall of 2006 an original first run can run you between three and four thousand dollars that's nice hoopty money right there clyw and P jeffrey pang from Luftwerk take point on this design using that injection molded plastic that we are familiar with from the plastic fovea and the plastic triple zero from a little while ago and if you want to start making comparisons the plastic triple zero is a direct comparison to our plastic peak of today But between these two came the hybrid fovea, which was my best yo-yo, or the one that I voted best for last year. Solid, solid performer that one was. But we're not here to look into the good old days, so let's check the stats. The numbers are pretty typical, but we do have a 66 grand, which is slightly heavier, with snow tire response. But in this review, we're gonna look at five pillars, including the spin time, float, stability, power, and then our overall performance level and how we feel about the yo-yo. Starting with our spin time, we get an average of one minute and some change with this plastic yo-yo, which is about average. Plastic yo-yos, especially organics, typically have less spin time than their metal counterparts, so don't be expecting much. As far as float is concerned, this yo-yo plays a little weightier than the triple zero, but it does have that typical plastic float that we're used to. No problems or issues there. And as far as stability is concerned, I found that this yo-yo was popping off the string a little more than I wanted. Now they did give me a thick string with this, so maybe that is the issue, or maybe it's just my technique. But at any rate, this thing does, uh, want to jump out of the string or not catch as accurately as I would like. Its power is average, although it does feel a little weightier in the hand and a little more full, and it does offer some confidence in that area. The power in and of itself, like I said, just a regular plastic yo-yo. Nice, but it's not going to break any world records. Overall, I give this yo-yo a 7 or 7.5 out of 10. It's nice and it does add to your collection. But um, I can understand if somebody misses it because this is a lot like the Plastic Fovea and the Triple Zero. And I've seen posts where people have strong dislikes for those yo-yos. But this is about like those. Nice and average. You'll have a good time. And that's it for the review. But check out what we get into for next time next time we got a little g2 action popping off and we're gonna find out what this dude is smiling about we'll also take a look at a better plastic hybrid yo-yo and in other news godzilla has a story to tell we'll check that out soon we'll definitely get into that a little sooner rather than later Okay, so this has been the Plastic Peak Review by CLYW and Leftberg. I'm Simply Mike, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.